Welcome to Secondhand Speed. I'm Gordon Roblero. It's been a while since I made a video and today I just want to talk about what everyone knows. The problem with the 6.8 V10 or with the whole Ford engine motor, everyone knows that the F-150, uh, especially the V8s and the V10s have a problem where the spark plug just blows out. Now we have fixed the three of the spark plugs. Originally it was only one that blew out and then two more blew out. And so our mechanic told us to buy the titanium thread lock or whatever it's called. Well, we're gonna swap cars. My parents have to go do some shopping. They have to buy the essential stuff. And so right now I'm in the Chevy Blazer, Trailblazer, we're in the Trailblazer edition. But this is the Blazer, the S10 you know, edition, the one that uses the S10 chassis. So we're gonna go get my parents because, well, they're stuck. So we're gonna swap cars and I'm gonna show you how it sounds like when your V10 or your V8 Triton engine blows out a spark plug. And you can hear it because it's like a helicopter noise. I mean, this engine has 189,000 miles on it. But if you're gonna buy one of these trucks, because they're nice trucks, I'm not gonna lie, the diesel versions are expensive. But getting one and worrying about the spark plug is the thing that you need to worry about when you're trying to get one of these trucks. You can buy a nice F250 V8 F250 V10 engine or the Excursion. I, I personally love the Excursions. They're a beast of an SUV, but the problem is their spark plugs are just weak. And so if you're gonna buy one, you have to make sure that you ask the owner about the spark plug. How many of them blew out? Which of them blew out? What did he do to fix them? Because if not, it's gonna be an expensive repair. I did not even know this, this issue existed until it happened to us and then I started doing research. I remember I looked on forums way before we even bought this truck that people joked around, oh yeah, that's what I want. Spark plugs flying through the, the hood of the truck. I, I didn't know what the heck that meant until now that we have a V10 excursion. It's happening to us. So we are on our way to go pick up my parents. Most likely we're gonna swap cars. They're gonna go take the Blazer so they can to continue with the shopping and I'm gonna drive the truck back slowly. I would I don't know if I would recommend you driving the truck with a blown spark plug. Because the thing is, if the threads blew out, there's pieces of aluminum inside of the block and you don't want that. The only thing that I hope is that hopefully it's just one of the other spark plugs that do not have the titanium threads on them. If it is the titanium threads, then I honestly don't know what else we can do to save this engine. Okay, now we're approaching the area where my parents are at. They weren't too far off, but um, let me see if I can see the truck. Oh, there it is, I see it. I see it. Now, where am I gonna park? Yes, I have the... Yes. Ojalá que no es la que arregló el mic. La segunda de allá para acá, para que esa fue. Oh, esa que está ahí. Sí, la segunda, esta vez. Más ya lo marré con una pita aquí para que. Mm, sí, pues. Pero igual va, 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 so, va, va a brincar va todo. Va a brincar, vos. pero ahí algo lo detiene bien. Sí. Que si no lleva eso, cae hasta aquí y se puede ir quebrando el cable. Pero por eso no, no fue el que arregló un mic. No es esa. No, no fue creo. La primera. Creo que es otra. Porque la que arregló fue este que está aquí de abajo. Oh. Uno de allá. Pero si es eso, está bien porque así ya el mic ya tiene ese, ese amarrador. Sí, de... ya tiene las partes. Sí, ya nomás se lo pone ya. Porque lo que me preocupaba era que si era uno de los sí, que arregló. Sí, lo tiene, ¿verdad? Sí, aquí lo tengo. Ah, ya lo amarré con la pita y va a amarrar aquí. Como que ya no le hace nada que no va a ir a aventarnos. ¿sí? <risa> bueno, está bien, lo voy a llevar despacio de nuevo. Vamos a soltar. Prendelo. Ahí está la llave, todo modo. Ya lo dejé. Ya tengo cuidado, ¿eh? Sí. No voy a ir despacio. Ahora bueno, se quedaron. Estamos quemando, se quedaron. So I know you guys couldn't understand, but what my dad was pointing at is that was a spark plug that blew out. 
So he tied it with something so that way the, the ignition coil wouldn't go anywhere. So it looks like it is one of the ones that it has not been repaired, which is good. That is a good news because if it were the ones that were repaired, then the, I don't know what we could have done. But since it's not the ones that we repaired, it is a very good thing because now we know how to fix it. All right, guys, so this is how your engine will sound when it is going to be turned on or when you're going to turn it on. Like I said, I do not recommend you driving it. If you can tow it, much better. If not, honestly, this truck is it's solid. I've driven it farther from where we were coming from with a blown spark plug in it and, it, and it still runs fine. Though it is not recommended because of the you know pieces of metal, but in this case, we have no choice. Mm. See? Just like a helicopter, it is not a pleasant sound. Oh my gosh. And everyone's gonna stare. We're here at this place. And I'm gonna have to drive it like that home. It is not a pleasant thing to do, my guys. Oh my gosh. It is loud. But I have no choice. We don't have a tow truck at the moment. If you're gonna drive it like this, make sure you have your hazards on and drive slow. Slow and steady. Because this thing thing, you can hear it, just listen to it. It is not a good noise and it's not good for the motor. It's just the combustion and all of that stuff that's just popping out. We got some spectators though. And it's a shame that it happens to this truck because I love these trucks. Honestly, I'm a fan of the Ford Excursions. They're, they're better than the, the, the Suburban, but this is what hinders the Excursion with the V10. Honestly, if I prefer the V10 over the V8 all day, every day. But this problem is what really makes me cry and feel very bad about this truck. Now, if it's a diesel engine, that's the best way to go. But man, this is not a good thing. Now, the only thing about the diesels, I would like, I like the diesels too, but the problem is they just cost more. And that's just obvious because it has more components and it has the turbo. It has more crap to it that you need to keep maintaining it. And that's the problem with the diesels. But other than that, they're actually excellent, man. They last for a really long time. Oh, look, the pony's getting scared. They last for a really long time, but the maintenance and the repairs are high as well. So diesels, I think it's the way to go. I think these trucks are better than the Suburbans, but with this problem that this V10 and the V8 has, it's just not a good thing. So I recommend getting the diesel version, but I know it costs more money. But overall, I think it's better to have the diesel than to face this problem. Unless you can find one that has these issues fixed, then you're solid. You know, and I'm just now realizing this. The other sad thing is my dad filled up this bad boy. Just look at it. He filled it up, it's full. And if you didn't know, this truck has a capacity of 44 gallons. Yes, you can. Th this truck takes up to 44 gallons of, of gasoline. That construction worker was giving me looks, looks and I'm not surprised because this truck, you can hear it from a far, far distance away. Just this little <laughs> that it makes, it's just not a good thing. It is not a good thing. We're almost home, almost, almost there. Well, I made it back home, safe and sound. The truck, not so sound, but hopefully, I'm gonna call my mechanic later and then we're gonna see if we can fix that problem and all the other spark plug problems. Hopefully we can fix with whatever tools we still have left over. I think we have five leftover titanium uh, thread lockers. So hopefully we can get those things done. As always, like the channel, give it a like, subscribe, um, leave a comment about anything, please browse the channel, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.